and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you all the books i got slash bought so as a graduation project present i got diana gabaldon's written in my own heart's blood which this is the mass market edition uh, the dell mass market edition this is the american edition uh, for those of you who wanted to know um i got this as a graduation present then for my half birthday which is a thing my parents and twin sister and i celebrate because my birthday falls in the midst of winter um during christmas break and usually most of my family members don't show up or are on holiday are away on holiday so my parents decided to celebrate it six months later and the tradition stuck and now we're still celebrating it so my mom got me dreams of gods and monsters by laney taylor which is the conclusion to the Daughter of Dragon Bone trilogy. My sister got me A Million Worlds With You, which is the conclusion to the Firebird trilogy by Claudia Gray. This is the American version um, because it's very, very flexible. And this is the, um, I believe this is, yeah, this is Hoda. This is the British version. Um, then I bought myself Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste NG when I was in Amsterdam. This is the uk version by abacus um then i also got seven stones to stand up for bought seven stones to stand up for a collection of outlander short stories by diana gabaldon this is the um british version this is the british edition by penguin random house so yeah i'm kind of obsessed with outlander then I also bought myself, because it was on sale, The Last Nom Sarah, a Nam Sarah by Kristen Cesarelli. I've heard great things about this book, so I'm really excited to read this. And it's so beautiful, look at it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Then I also got myself, uh, no, I got this from my mother, also as a graduation present, which was, which, was, uh, which was really, really sweet of her. This is No, I Could Never by Simon James Green which is the sequel to No Account Even, which is practically the British version of Simon First Homo Sapiens Agenda. If you haven't read this yet, check it out. It is so funny. It is hilarious. It's hilarious. And it's so cute and just LGBTQ+. And it's, it's adorable. I haven't read it yet. I haven't read any of these books yet because I'm currently kind of in a big reading slump. So, um, we went to a thrift shop and my mom saw me ogling this Starcross by Josephine Angelini, which is the first in the Starcross series trilogy. And she was like, well, if it's only two bucks, you'll get it. Uh, I'm going to get it for you. So that was really, really sweet of her. So I got this one. I've already read the first two books in this trilogy, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to reread them in the original language. Then I also got marked and... Betrayed by P.C. Cast and Kristen Cast, which is, are the t first two books in the House of Night series, both together for one buck, so that was really, really nice. Then I got a hardcover version of Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, because I'm really, really neurotic about breaking spines, and I have the British versions, um, so now I'm collecting either the flexible American paperbacks or the hardcovers because those are beautiful and because so I can reread them without having to break my spines. Um, Warstorm by Victoria Avery. This is the Orion edition, which means it's the British version. Um, this is the conclusion to the Red Queen series. I haven't read this yet, but I will soon enough. And it's so gorgeous. And then, of course, as you all already know, that we've read The Gates by Salad Sahir. Let me know in the comments down below uh, how many books of these if you've read any of these books I just mentioned or if you've bought any of these books over the last month and happy reading everybody.